Yo, 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 what's good, what's good, what's good, beautiful people? It's your boy Manuel, aka Power Factory. Welcome back again to the channel. Before we get right into it, guys, hit the like button, it definitely helps the channel. Um, today, today, today is an amazing day for Afrobeats. Af amazing day for um, this Afrobeats to the world agenda, man. Whiskey and Thames have been said to debut, okay, on the Hot 100 billboard charts now this is an amazing and amazing feat because this is the first time we're having a solo act um from nigeria to do that um whiskey has been actually been here but as a feature on one dance and brown skin girl with beyonce so um this is going to be his first and uh also thames his first as well and it's such a huge huge win this is coming um right after he has been selling out amazing amazing numbers like selling out shows across the u.s and the demand the stock right now for risk is high and um this is just a very very good time for 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 Wiz to just just like just put out a show put out an amazing 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 tour whiskey stickers i've been selling like pure water and i've been trying to even get my hand on some and it's funny because i'm banking on i'm banking on another show to be announced another another date to be announced because this was this is a 25,000 I say 25,000 this is a 2500 um capacity hall that he sold out in minutes I could definitely see him fill up another date for sure but anyway um this success off of the billboard goes on to show that um we don't necessarily need okay there's no necessity for international features in order for us to crack into those spaces. Risk it is sh showing that as a good example. Even as far back as David O's Fall being a pure example as well. Because um, these are songs that organically, organically can sell themselves. And that was the, that was the story here with um, Risk it and and Thames with Essence. And to be frank, like I don't even think he has done due diligence in terms of pushing and, 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 um, and basically selling the the particular song beyond the video i haven't seen whiskey show up on talk shows i haven't seen um whiskey show up on interviews and you know what i mean done a lot of press he hasn't really pushed this album or pushed um, this particular song and with the success here that he has garnered without all that push without all that press I, I can only imagine what can come of it if a little a little bit more ginger was put into it, you know, and I, it's just amazing to witness it. And this uh, this also goes to show that Whiskey is in the, is in the best position to win a Grammy, or at the very least get nominated. Um, I, I need to make another video on why that is and why Whiskey stands a good chance, but I don't want to make this particular video too long. I mean, many of you are definitely still wondering where I stand on Made in Lagos. I've actually made updates to my Made in Lagos review in numerous opportunities, one with when I reviewed the the um youtube live show another with the essence video reaction um i've updated my take on it because the album not only aged like fine wine to me um it has solidified itself as um a classic already even though many of my comments in the first listen review um still they still hold weight it's still it's still it's still fair to say that the album was quite monotonous and redundant. It's, it's still fair to say that Whiskey took a backseat when it came to his pen game and delivery. It's still fair to say that a lot of the heavy lifting was done by many of the features. But that is all water under the bridge when it comes to what makes an album an album because it's very cohesive at the end of the day. It's it's solidifying a statement in his career. And it's also an album that only gets better the more time passes. Anyone that paid attention to my channel would have known by now that my stance on my first listen, the first time I was sitting and listening to the album, wouldn't necessarily be the same seven months later. And I've made many hints and instances to that. But anyway, um, agenda will agend. If people want to scapegoat as far as people trashing um, Made in Lagos in the first instance, I mean, my comments were not necessarily, they were not isolated. A lot of people had the same um, view as I did, even worse. But anyway, FC agenda must agend and they needed a scapegoat and I was the unfortunate guinea pig for that by clipping old segments of my of my reviews and, and then mischaracterizing them as if I was trashing the entire album in its entirety. But anyways, um, this is an exciting time for Afrobeats, an exciting time for Nigerian music and it's a phenomenal win for Thames as well. Um, she did a lot of the heavy lifting on the song, but then again, Whiskey's platform alone is what is making the song even get into the spaces. And at the end of the day, there's value being brought by both artists, so it's almost like the collaboration of the year because it's, it's, it's a match made in heaven, man. But anyway, thank you so much for 
watching let me know what you think about this news you can check out the rest of the content here don't forget to hit the like button uh subscribe if you haven't i have interview series episodes you can check on here and uh thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next one peace